Let's talk about laptops. What's going on everybody? Josh here with Chobby Tech. Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we are talking about the top five video editing laptops and they're around $1,000 or under. So without further ado, let's get started. When I'm looking for a video editing laptop, especially one that can handle in Premiere, I look for one that has a graphics card because Adobe Premiere has a special feature that allows you to edit more efficiently with a laptop if it has a graphics card in it because it uses something that helps the rendering and makes it a lot easier to use in your timeline. So all these laptops I believe have a graphics card in them but starting off with the first laptop we have is an Adobe Pavilion 15.6 inch laptop. So this laptop is killing it with all these awesome specs. It has an Intel Core i7 7500U 2.7 gigahertz processor. And that is like one of the best processors you can get in a laptop. But there's more. It has 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. So you know that you'll be all set in Adobe Premiere or any other editing software of choice. Um, this will really help you out a lot. It has a one terabyte hard drive. Now, if I were you, I'd get this laptop and because the price is so cheap, reasonable I mean, not cheap, it's reasonable, what I would do is I'd upgrade the one terabyte hard drive or buy one of the Samsung T3 SSDs. And everything I mentioned in this video actually will be linked in the description below if you're con considering purchasing any of it. But um, that's what I would do. It has more. It has an NVIDIA GeForce 940 MX with four gigabytes of VRAM and it has a backlit keyboard with Windows 10. So this laptop is killing it. Um, of course it has a graphics card and Adobe Premiere will really rely on that graphics card to use the Mercury Playback Engine which is in Adobe Premiere. So this laptop is killing it. Um, it's really high quality so definitely something to consider but we have four more options on this list if this isn't gonna meet your expectations. This one has it coming in at $849.99, which is a perfect price for a laptop of this capacity. If you want to get a MacBook at this same capacity and the same uh, level of, uh, like, the same spec specs and all, it's going to be tons more money. So this is definitely a consideration. This next laptop is another HP Pavilion laptop, but it is slightly different. So this one's a little bit less quality and... As you can see, based on the pictures of Amazon, it's not made out of aluminum, it's made out of plastic. But this one also has some pretty decent specs as well. So it has an Intel Core i7 with 7500U. It has 16 gigabytes of RAM, which is perfect for Adobe Premiere, which I mentioned on the previous laptop. Um, it has a one terabyte hard drive, which you should upgrade to an SSD. And I, what I would recommend is getting a Samsung T3 SSD if you want to have just more storage built on to the storage that's already built into the laptop. Or if you want, you can always just get an SSD from like uh, SanDisk or something and have that installed in the laptop. But just something I'd recommend. Um, it has Intel HD graphics, 620, HDMI, Bluetooth, up to eight hours of battery life in Windows 10. The one thing that this laptop does not have is a graphics card, but considering that the specs, it'll probably still work pretty well in Adobe Premiere. The Adobe Premiere only relies on the graphics card for the Mercury Playback Engine and not many people probably want to use the Mercury Playback Engine, but it's going to help if you do. So even if you get this laptop, you'll definitely be able to edit in Adobe Premiere. You just won't be able to really use the Mercury Playback Engine to its full, to the fullest that it has. And also, this laptop is $714, which is over $100 less than the budget, the other laptop that we just showcased before this one. This next laptop is similar to the laptop that I have, and this is a Dell Inspiron 15.6 inch gaming laptop. And although it's a gaming laptop, that doesn't mean that it's only meant for gaming. You could video edit on this, of course, because it has the specs available to do that with. This one has a 7th generation Intel Core i7 processor with 8GB of RAM. And 8GB of RAM, although it's not 16GB of RAM, I have an 8GB of RAM laptop in my room right now and I'm able to edit it with a breeze. So just because it doesn't have 16GB of RAM doesn't mean it's not a good laptop. Um, and the Intel Core i7 of course is one of the top of the line processors from Intel. And this one also has a, C, uh, has a one terabyte hard drive as well with a 128 gigabyte SSD. So if you're gonna edit, then an SSD 
would be really, really good. And this laptop is also reasonably priced as well. But I'm not done yet with the specs. This one also has a GTX 1050 graphics card. So this will be definitely be able to take advantage of the Mercury playback engine in Adobe Premiere. Um, and this laptop is actually around the same price as the first laptop, $50 less actually. And it's actually $799. So if you're interested in a laptop like this with these specs that have a really good graphic card because you want to take advantage of the Mercury playback engine in Adobe Premiere, then this is something I would consider. Now judging from my personal usage of my laptop inside, they're both pretty similar. The laptop that I'm showing you right now and the laptop that I have in my room right now that I use to edit my videos. And one thing that I really like about my laptop that I use right now that's similar to the one that I just talked about is the quality of the laptop. Although it's plastic, it's pretty, pretty quality plastic. It doesn't seem to be get, like easily scratched or it's not glossy. It's a nice matte finish, so it's really, really nice. And I can highly recommend that especially based on build quality but of course specs are very important when video editing but if you're traveling just something i would want to make a note of all right so this next laptop that we're going to be talking about is a little bit more than a thousand dollars it's around the fifteen hundred dollar price tag and i know one of my good friends matt monas uses this laptop or at least i think he does he uses the dell xps 15 and that's the laptop we're talking about right now so if you are like really hardcore in video editing, like video editing is your full-time job or you're like working at an agency and you're like the video editor or you're just, you just need a really good laptop for video production, then this is really high-end and definitely for you if you're into the high-end, like you need a high-end laptop because this one has it all. So this Dell XPS 15 laptop is has a 4K touchscreen laptop, an Intel Core i7 6700HQ, an NVIDIA GTX 960M graphics card, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and a one terabyte PCI Express SSD card, or SSD storage. So this laptop is really, really good for the video editor because it covers you with RAM and it covers you with storage. You don't have to worry about having a hard drive and getting another hard drive or another SSD to upgrade to. This one has it all for you. And if you're editing 4K content, then the 4K touchscreen is something that would be very important because you're gonna be able to view nice 4K full res on that screen. And uh, just really, really awesome specs. And of course, you have the graphics card for the Mercury Playback Engine in Adobe Premiere. So if you're really hardcore, you're working in Hollywood or you're working on a short film or something and you want a MacBook equivalent, then this is something that I would definitely consider if you were sticking with Windows. So for Apple, for all you Apple people out there, don't hate, I didn't forget about you people. The 15 inch MacBook Pro with Retina display that recently came out is the best MacBook that you can buy for video editing. So if you're ready to go all in with video editing and you're gonna be editing in Final Cut Pro, or even it might be able to take a little bit of Adobe Premiere, then the 15 inch MacBook Pro is definitely for you. This one has an Intel Core i7 2.6 gigahertz quad core processor, 256 gigabytes of storage, and of course the Retina display so you'll be able to view your video editing goodness and nice and sharp so this laptop is definitely a great laptop if you're going to stick with the apple ecosystem or if you haven't you don't maybe you don't even have a video editing laptop yet and you're considering a first video editing laptop and the macbook is something that you're considering this one will be able to take final cut pro 10 and adobe premiere pro no problem no sweat at all so that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Share this video if you enjoyed it. Uh, go turn on post notifications if you like this video. And subscribe for more, of course. And liking the video definitely helps out the channel a ton. Now, sharing this video is very important because if you share this video with a video, video creator or someone who's getting into video editing, then that'll be super awesome of you guys. Or if you this video helped you out at all, then definitely let me know by dropping a comment down below. Now, are you going to consider picking up any of these laptops? Let me know. But before I head out, I just want to make sure I briefly mention this one thing. That all the laptops that I mentioned in this video are linked in the description below. And if you purchase with the links in the description below, they'll help support the channel a lot. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.